D. Virendra Hegade born the 25th of November 1948, is a philanthropist and the hereditary administrator Dharmadakari of the Dharmasthala Temple. He succeeded to the post at the age of 20 on the 24th of October 1968, the 21st in his line. He administers the temple and its properties, which are held in trust for the benefit of devotees and of dharma. He has received multiple awards for his many contributions. He was awarded the Karnataka Ratna Award for the year 2009, the highest civilian award in Karnataka. Personal life Hegade was born the eldest son of Dharmadakari Ratnavarma Hegade and Rathnama Hegade He belongs to the Purgade dynasty of Tulu lineage, the hereditary trustees of the famous Sri Dharmasthala Manjanatha Swami temple in South Kanara district of Karnataka. The family are trustees of a Hindu temple, although the family are of the Jain religion. They belong to the Digambara Jain. He has three younger brothers, Harshendra Kumar, Surendra Kumar and Rajendra Kumar, and a sister, Padmalada. He married Hemavathi Hegade in a match arranged by their parents. Virendra Hegade and Hemavathi Hegadthi are the parents of daughter Shraddha. As the eldest son, Virendra Hegade succeeded his father as Dharmadakari. He is the 21st member of the Purgade dynasty to hold the position of Dharmadakari of the Dharmasthala temple. As he has no sons, his heir is his younger brother, Harshendra. Dharmadakari Virendra Hegade is a car collector and photography aficionado. His car collection is on display in Dharmastala. Works and contributions Dharmadakari As Dharmadakari, he has continued the traditions of the institution. He continued the tradition of the Kshetra to hold annual Sarva Dharma and Sahitya Samalana at Dharmasthala. The 85th session of the Samalana was held in 2017. Hegade has reached beyond his administrative role. <laughs> Indian culture He is a patron of art and literature. He publishes a publication series and a monthly journal Manjuvani. To propagate naturopathy, yoga and moral education, 400 teachers of high schools and primary schools train more than 30,000 students every year in yoga, moral and spiritual education. He contributed to the revival of Yakshagana by maintaining pure traditional approach. Manjusha is a museum that displays rare collections of antiques and contemporary rare and valuable collections. A vintage car museum attached to this museum has vehicles from many nations. 4,000 palm leaf manuscripts are preserved and research is conducted by scholars for Sri Manjanathashwara Samskriti Samshodana Prithasthana. <laughs> Social welfare He offered a free mass marriage every year in Sri Shithra Dharmasthala since 1972. 10,000 couples had been wedded under this scheme by April 2004. He constructed marriage halls at Bangalore, Kalahalli, Bhadravathi, Mysore, Shravanabelagola and Bantwal for the benefit of middle and low income people. He introduced a rural development project, in the coastal district of Karnataka, comprising 600 villages and 6 urban towns. The project facilitates empowerment of 1,350,000 families in agriculture, transfer of technology, women empowerment, housing, alternative sources of energy, income generating activity, microfinance, education and health. He has been promoted the importance of solar energy and provided facilities to several villages. He established the Rural Development and Self-Employment Training Institute RUDSETI in collaboration with Syndicate Bank, Syndicate Agricultural Foundation and Kanara Bank to train rural un-youth for self-employment and volunteers for rural development in 1982. Since then 20 branches of the RUDSETI have arisen across India. Up to June 2004, 1,500,000 youths have been trained and the employment rate is 65%. He hosted national seminars including the one on Rural India Real India to mark Syndicate Bank's Diamond Jubilee. 
Topic: Education. He introduced postgraduate course at Sri Dharmasthala Manjanathashwara College, Ujjir. He started SDMIMD College Mysore which evolved into a top business college in India. He started Rathnamanasa, a model hostel with training in agriculture, horticulture, dairying and a concept of future farmers and citizens for high school boys at Ujjir. He started Sri Siddhavana Garukula, a model hostel for college students at Ujjir to inspire students in agriculture, moral education and training in leadership programs. He is the president of SDM Educational Society, Ujjir, which manages educational institutions from primary to engineering, medical, Ayurvedic and management institutes as well as hospitals. Tuluva culture. Hegade supported preserving Tuluva culture and heritage. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Awards and Honors. Padma Bhushan Award 2000 for social work and communal harmony, India's third highest award. Rajarshi title from President of India, Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma in 1993. The state government selected Hegade for Karnataka Ratna title for 2009. P.V. Narasimha Rao, the then Prime Minister of India presented Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce Award for Rural Development Activities in Belthangadi Taluk by SKDRDP. On 12 May 1995 Adil Bihari Vajpayee, former Prime Minister of India presented Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce Award for Rural Development and Self-Employment Activities by RUDSET Institute on 20 November 1999 by ETV Kannada at Hassan on 20 November 2004 Padma Vibhushan by the Government of India for Social Work. <laughs> 